would be able to access those products. In other news, countries along the Kerio Valley have shifted focus to archery as a sporting activity used to create peace. Former marathoner Irene Limeka says the activity has attracted youth from about six counties in the South Rift and aims to eradicate banditry activities in the region by rewarding skilled warriors. As Winfrey Owino reports, the program seeks to eradicate the historical banditry and conflict over resources in the region. The counties of Baringo, Elgeo, Marraquet, West Pokot, Samburu, Laikipia and Turkana might be the home of the next generation of stars in Kenya sports as the popularity of archery grows. Seven. In this region, cases of banditry are rampant. Warriors use bows and arrows to aim at their targets during raids. As a result, Irene Lemika, a former marathoner in Berlin World Championships of 2009, came up with Arrows for Peace, an initiative seeking to convert the warriors into professional archerists. I want to promote culture in a positive way through the sport archery. Two, I want to use the sport, or we want to use the sport to end car wrestling in Kenya, of which it is possible. So far, she has introduced the game to Kapsaw Technical College, which is the main training center for the region. The college's chief principal says the sporting activity will enhance cohesion in the region. They are very much skilled in shooting and they can shoot a moving target. If they are, they are able to shoot a moving target, that means with a stationary target, they can be able to do more if trained and that's why we brought in the uh, archery sport so we say we should to win not to kill when people participate in a common activity friendliness develop exchange of uh, exchange of uh, positive economic activity take place baringo governor benjamin cheboy says the sport will transform the mindset of the youth adding that the fight against banditry requires joint efforts the people of Baringo County, especially those coming from uh, the band, banditry zones, uh, will get to know that they can actually use the arrows uh, through practicing archery so that they can actually improve their economic well-being through the sporting activity. For years, the government has been fighting banditry in the region, a menace that has led to loss of lives and even property, as well as displacement. The government has had to impose curfews in some areas to mitigate banditry attacks. Winfrey Owino, KTN News. Moving on, activists under the Human Rights Lobby Group, Operation